So they use this greenhouse to teach the kids how to grow food, how to start seedlings, um, how to get into the soil and just reconnect with nature. Um, and that happens throughout the school year. And then all summer long, they produce this incredible plot and they're selling food in Canmore. Now, coming back to the amazing part in Canmore, Alberta specifically, um, if you look around me, we've got this really narrow valley. So the sun is super truncated in the, in the winter time, uh, meaning that there's even less sun here in the winter time than there is in Calgary because the sun gets truncated essentially by the, by the mountains. Um, and it can get as cold as minus 35 degrees Celsius here, which makes it really challenging. Now, as we go through this greenhouse, and given that you can't sense temperature, what's really amazing about how the greenhouse functions and, some, and, and the construction of the greenhouse is that it's made with straw bales, which was a really interesting decision that I might not have chosen my, personally myself. Uh, but the greenhouse, given that it's made out of straw bales, has this really thick layer of cob, which is basically cl clay and sand, which is clearly absorbing surplus energy on this hot day. And so going into the greenhouse, you actually get a lowering of temperature, which is not something you typically find in a passive solar greenhouse. So it stays cooler during the day and warmer at night. Overall, this greenhouse is absolutely brilliant. We're gonna talk about ventilation, orientation, glazing material, wall material, the foundation that Christian chose, um, and some of the tweaks that they've made over the years and how that's improved the productivity of the space. So come on with us on this tour. You're gonna to learn a ton it's going to be really interesting and you're going to be able to apply a lot of these ideas to your own passive solar greenhouse. Thanks Christian. Thanks Rob.